They were my friends. My best friend, one day he came and arrested my father. He didn't speak with me. How was that? It was terrible. I can see the person today, but we don't speak. Bosnia-Herzegovina is a beautiful country with a rich cultural heritage. However, it is also a country with a history marked by conflict and suffering. Before the war between Serbs, Croats and Bosnian Muslims began in 1992, most inhabitants of the former Yugoslavia lived together peacefully, regardless of nationality or ethnicity. However, those who were previously friends and neighbours became enemies. My name is Mohamed Isic and I'm a Kapia massacre survivor. 25th of May 1995. Hundreds of young people are enjoying themselves at Kapia Square in Tuzla. Suddenly, a Serbian shell hits the middle of the crowd. 71 young people are killed. I knew him. We went to school for a year in the same class. I remember everybody was just happy and careless. I didn't even hear anything. I just fell to the ground. I got up and I see my arm in unnatural position. We went straight to the hospital. What those doctors did that night, they saved 20, maybe 30 lives that night. They didn't have uh, fancy equipment. They, it was a war. The war in Bosnia was bloody and brutal. 100,000 people were killed in numerous massacres and attacks. Today, there is disagreement about what happened, despite the fact that international courts have presented evidence of genocide and convicted a number of criminals. There is still great political division between the ethnic groups, and there are at least three different versions of the truth. Their truth about this is not saying truth is mine. They think this was all staged, you know, fake. How can you, how can you stage it? In Mostar, Almira Music worked as a teacher during the war. This is the first time when I, when I speak about it. Really? Yes. Without emotions. <laughs> So, so you don't haven't spoken about what happened to you during the war? Oh, uh, you can't speak, so... Mm. Mm. Almira is still a primary school teacher. However, she finds it difficult that children learn different versions of historical events during the war, depending on their ethnicity. Yes, I am Muslim and I have uh, uh, children, other nationalities. I, I, I speak uh, with, with them about everything and I have no problems with that. My best friend is uh, Catholic. Uh, my children, are some of them are Orthodox, uh, Muslims. We don't have a problem, only you, in gymnasium uh, you have a separated uh, children, my children. Uh, older, older daughter. She was in the classroom where are the Muslims, but in second classroom are uh, Catholic uh, group. They they play together, they go out together, but when they are in schools, they are separated. Uh, we have a, a politics which is not good for us. If they they mixed. Uh, children to live together, to go to, 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 to go to school, I think that uh, life will be better for all of us. Edin was born in Sarajevo in 1992, the same year the war broke out. Today, he works as a guide for tourists, telling the story of his country. Well aware that there are at least three different versions of what happened, of which only one is supported by international courts. Absolutely, there are different versions of the story and we are divided along the ideology. 
But different politicians, they are influencing their societies in a way that they think that they are threatened by the others. Mm. So at the end of the day, when those people who come to work and they live together, they come back home and they listen to the news where they see that the others are hating them, even though it's not what they have seen during the day. But on the, on the evening, they'll see, you know, police controls just because someone is making this uh, fear of the others and then you'll see, well, you see they're protecting us and something is going on, you know. It affects young people because when it comes to the partying, going out, everyone goes with their own people, mainly. That's how it works. Even though people get mixed through the work, through the business, still they are somehow divided in a different ways. When it comes to the football clubs, even though we live in the same cities close to each other, still that sport is highly connected to the nationalism. Bosnia has never had a collective reckoning with the war. Most people are able to live side by side with each other, but it is difficult to live together with people from other ethnicities. My future is good because I, I love people. It's not uh, important which nationalities they are. Uh, my children do the same and uh, if you love people, you don't have problems. <laughs>